Okay, example 1. A continuous random variable x has probability density function fx equals to 1 over 4 times 4 minus x. And this is valid for x in, this, in between 1 and 3. Right, so the question is, the first one, we need to show that the function is a probability density function. Or in short, we call it a PDF. So we need to show whether the function that we have here is a PDF or not. Okay, and part B, we want to find the probability of x less than 2. And part C, we want to find the median. Alright, so we do the part A first. Alright, so for the part A, we know that for a continuous random variable, okay, the probability density function, okay, to be a PDF, the total area or the, def the definite integral from negative infinity to infinity of fx, Okay, must equals to 1. So, if we can show that the total area under the curve or the or the total probability is 1, so that means this is a an, a PDF. Alright, so we need to check whether if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity, we get 1 or not. So, if we get 1, that means this is a probability density function or it is a PDF. Alright, so we're going to do this. So, we want to find... Okay, what is the value when we integrate fx okay, from negative infinity to infinity? So, if you look into our function, okay, it's only defined between 1 and 3. Okay, so it's just between 1 and 3. So, the function is 1 over 4, 4 minus x. And otherwise, it will be 0. So, in general, we should integrate from negative infinity. Okay, from negative infinity to 1 first. But this is 0. This function is 0. Okay, plus and then from 1 to 3. And for this, uh, for this interval from between 1 and 3, the function is 1 over 4. 4 minus x. And the last part is from 3 to infinity. Okay, from here to infinity. And this is also the function is 0. Alright, so for the first, for this part here and here, this is, is just a 0. Okay, if we integrate 0, it's just a 0. So that's mean uh, it's either this part will become 1 or not, will determine whether this is a PDF or not. Alright, so if we integrate 1 over 4, so I can bring out 1 over 4 outside. So we need to integrate 4 minus x dx. Alright, so it's become 1 over 4. So integrate 4 become 4x and integrate negative x is become x square over 2. And the limit is between 1 and 3. Alright, so we can substitute the value, okay, the limit which is 3 and 1. So first we substitute 3. So we substitute the 3 first, so it's become 4 times 3 minus 3 squared over 2, okay, minus, and then we substitute 1, so 4 times 1, minus 1 squared over 2, alright, so we calculate what is the result, so the first one, this is 12, and this is a 9 over 2, okay, and this part is 4, this is 1 over 2, so it's become 1 over 4, and this is uh, 12 minus 9 over 2 is 15 over 2 minus and this part 7 uh, 4 minus 1 over 2 is 7 over 2 all right so this is equals to okay so 15 minus 7 is 8 8 over 2 is 4 so 1 over 4 times 4 and this is equals to 1 all right so since if since the answer is 1 that's mean fx is a pdf okay fx is a probability density function. Alright, so that is for the first part of the question where we want to show that the function is a PDF or not. Alright, so part B is we want to find the probability of x less than 2. Alright, so to find the probability of x less than 2, to make things uh, make sense, you can draw a number line. Alright, so the function is only defined between 1 and 3 and the function is 1 over 4, 4 minus x and otherwise is 0. So, we want to find the probability, probability of x less than 2. So, 2 is in between 1 and 3. So, that's mean if we want to find the probability, we need to integrate 
from negative infinity to 2. Okay, but we know that between negative infinity to 1, the function is 0. So, to find this probability, we just integrate between 1 and 2. And the function is 1 over 4, 4 minus x, okay, with respect to x. Alright, so we can, we can integrate this. So, we already done this. So, we know the result is 1 over 4, 4x minus x squared over 2. And the limit is 2 and 1. So, now we can substitute the limit which is uh, 2 and 1. So, first we substitute 2. So, 4 times 2 minus 2 squared over 2 minus... Okay, and now we substitute the limit which is 1. So, 4 times 1 minus 1 squared over 2. Right, so the first one, this is 8. 8 minus... Okay, 4 over 2 is 2. So, this is 6. Okay, 1 over 4. This is 6. And this is 4 minus 1 over 2 which is 8. Uh, this is 4 over 2 which is 8 over 2 minus 1 over 2, 7 over 2. And it's 7 over 2. And if we calculate this, we get the answer is 5 over 8. Alright, so the probability of x less than 2 is equals to 5 over 8. Alright, so we get the answer. So now for part C. So the part C, we want to find the median. Okay, part C, we want to find the median. Alright, so to find the median, okay, the median is, let's say, M. So, the formula to find the median is we need to integrate from negative infinity to m. So, m is what we want to find, which is the median. fx and the answer should equals to 0 0.5. Alright, so we know that the function is only defined between 1 and 3. Okay, which is the function is 1 over 4, 4 minus x. So, the median must be in between 1 and 3. 3. Right, so later we're going to see what happens if the interval has more than 2 interval. So uh, that will be in another example. So now we only have one interval which is 1 and 3. So m should be in between 1 and 3. So that's mean uh, we need to integrate from negative infinity to m. So that's mean first we need to integrate from negative infinity to 1 and the function is 0. Or you can omit it because we know that integrate 0 is 0. And then another one is integrate from 1 to m. So from 1 to m here. And the function is 1 over 4, 4 minus x with respect to x. And the answer must equals to 0 0.5. Alright, so for the first part here, it's just 0. Or you can neglect it okay, in the first place because the answer will become 0. Okay, so we just need to do this integral. So integrate 1 over 4, we already know the result, which is 1 over 4. Okay, 4x minus x squared over 2. And the limit is between 1 and m. And the answer must be equals to 0 0.5. Alright, so we substitute the limit. The first one is m, so 1 over 4. Okay, 4 times m minus m squared over 2 minus 4 times 1. Okay, minus 1 squared over 2, and this is must equals to 0 0.5. Right, so we can multiply both sides with 4 because we want to eliminate 1 over 4 here. So it's become, okay, 4m minus m squared over 2. And 4 times 1 is 4 minus 1 over 2. This is 7 over 2, negative 7 over 2 is equals to. So we multiply both sides by 4. So this become 2. And then we can multiply both sides by 2 because we want to eliminate over 2 there so we can multiply both sides by 2 because we want to we want to uh, eliminate the denominator there which is 2 all right so the multiply by 2 is become 8 m minus m squared minus 7 equals to 4 all right so if we simplify this we get m squared minus 8 m plus 11 equals to 0 and this is a quadratic equation so we can solve this the quadratic equation we can use calculator so m we will get two answer the first one is m is equals to 1.764 and another one we have m is equals to 
6.236. So now we have two result here, M1.764 and M equals to 6.236. So we need to determine which one is the median. So since we know that M must be in between 1 and 3, so because we already marked here, M must be in between 1 and 3. So we're going to choose, okay, or I will write here, since M must be in between 1 and 3, so that's mean M must be 1.764. So this one, we're going to reject it.